You got it. Okay, we don't have anyone else to ID you, you know? But the difference between having three people and two people in a lobby is a big, big difference in terms of how fast they'll uh, give you a game. Yeah. I think it's three weeks. Three weeks. So it's weird. It's like the levels, like I said, there are spots with the more advanced monsters that people hadn't been playing before. Of course, they're only discovering, uh, you know, issues with maps. You know, if you're teleporting people outside it, you know, nobody could play the wraith earlier. So it makes sense that that stuff wasn't discovered now. But you'd think they'd do stuff like, oh, we want to stress test the servers and see if our matchmaking can handle the load. Yeah, well, maybe it can't. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's one of those things where they, they might write some code and it looks like it works, but there's a bottleneck somewhere. And so throwing more servers at it doesn't necessarily work. And then you'd hope that's the type of thing they, they'd try to simulate before, or at least earlier. It's a little more complicated because, you know, they have preferences to track, which in Left 4 Dead I don't think existed. It was just, oh, I want to play on this campaign, or any campaign. It's really good when you can play it. It's my opinion. Too bad, like a decent chunk of it has not been playing this game, just on this menu. I have no clue. I have no idea. I don't know if anyone knows. All yeah, I know I'll back out and try it again because we're not getting anything here. It, it might be because you. I don't know, because someone joined late? I have no idea. Okay. So now I see it. This screen means we're actually back out. Oops. I'll invite you back. Yeah, you Yeah. They're hooked into the... It's, it's weird because they have the uh, invite friends and it brings up the, the overlay to do it. But at the same time, you know, you can't see if someone's playing before clicking on their name. The view server info thing doesn't work, as far as I can tell. Yeah. Yeah, that might just be Valve's own problem. Hopefully, a faster queue. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's awful. 
It's surprising because CryEngine is supposed to be good at kind of environments like this, right? You see in a crisis game, they have often big expansive things like cliffy bits with long, narrow viewpoints in between. Yeah, so it shouldn't it shouldn't be choking. Yeah. It's hard to tell. Uh, I don't know how big the team is at Turtle Rock. You know, like, is this just? The, I mean, the fidelity in terms of the modeling and texturing is obviously a lot higher than it was in the Left 4 Dead games. So, did they just kind of rush to get the artwork in place and not have enough time to optimize, or they're just not uh, familiar enough with the engine? Ah, there we go. Hope you found a person. Thank you. 